Welcome back everybody to the channel. I am Minuteman Ren, or you can just call me Ren for short. Um, if you are new to the channel and this is your first time seeing a video, welcome to the channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber or you've seen a bunch of my videos before, then welcome back as well because we have a really cool video today. Um, this today, June 8th, is my one year channel -versary. Um, It's been one year since I've uploaded my very first YouTube video, um, which was cringeworthy at best. But um, I started off as a Pokemon Go content creator, which you guys just saw, and uh, I slowly made my transition into the Pokemon TCG, um, which is where I kind of wanted to go from the start, but I just didn't know how, and Pokemon Go was something I played readily, uh, pretty much daily, so I decided to jump into that first. Um, but I still enjoy Pokemon Go, and I still go out and play, you know, almost daily, and uh, I do have plans to go back out and vlog some more Pokemon Go adventures, um, so just stay tuned for all that if you are into the Pokemon Go scene. But today, since it is the channel anniversary, I wanted to open up some products and and uh, you know just just kind of relive some of the most special packs and and kind of my well one year since I've been really back into the Pokemon scene. So we have a slew of products. Um, we have this TCG Lightning box. Um, I've seen these at Walgreens for. What it feels like forever now. I've I've seen a bunch of these at Walgreens. Um, I've never opened one before, but it had Dragon's Majesty pack in it, and it looks like it has some X and Y packs in here as well. Uh, I don't see Steam Siege. I think it's Roaring Skies and maybe a Fates Collide, which are two pretty decent sets. I actually enjoy those, so I picked this up um, mostly for the Dragon Majesties, though. I wanted to do that, but uh, I also have a Cosmic Eclipse. 3-pack blister because we're going to go Charizard hunting in today's video as well. Um, but that was also, um, Cosmic Eclipse was the very first pre-release I, I ever attended uh, down in Alabama. And that's the reason why I picked those. I have uh, five just loose Burning Shadows packs. I did buy these from um, a, a seller who was just opening boxes and selling the, uh, the packs straight from the box. So these could have... Some really good hits in them there. Not way they are straight from a booster box. So we're gonna open those up. Um, I also have two Unbroken Bonds sleeve blisters, which I know some people are already yelling, "No, don't do it, don't do it." Unbroken Bonds, it's it's a fun set. There's a Charizard in there. I still have yet to pull. I need to keep trying. And these sleeve blisters, uh, I mean, you can find them still at Game Stops and you know, Targets, WalMarts, and stuff. Generally, you can for you know the three ninety nine or whatever they are. So um, until they start really skyrocketing in price, I'm probably going to keep opening some of them. I still have a lot sealed, so for all you collectors out there, don't worry. But I'm going to keep opening some of those for now. But we also have some Unified Minds, which I think is an underrated set, and uh, it doesn't have a Charizard in it. Not that I'm aware of anyway, but um, it's a really good set. It just kind of got overshadowed by hidden fates so we're gonna open up some more of those i also have one of the newer mystery power boxes that we're gonna open up in hopes of getting some more vintage packs um, i haven't decided yet if i want to if we get a vintage pack if i want to open it or not or keep it sealed um, but i also have one of the meyer exclusive it says it right down here holiday boxes mystery power boxes from um christmas time and um, these have the chance of getting a, it's 1 in 25, but getting a graded card, PSA graded card. Um, I, all the ones that I've opened so far have not had one. And honestly, I, it just doesn't feel like there's one in here to me. But we're going to open it anyway because I've been proven wrong in these mystery boxes before. So that, my friends, is what we are planning for today. There's a lot to do, a lot of openings we want to accomplish. So... I am not going to waste any more time. We're going to just dive right on in. And we're going to actually, we're going to start this off. Let me set these down here so I have room to open. 
we're going to start these off the right way with Unified Minds because, again, I think this set is a really good set. It just got overshadowed, and uh, I would very much love to pull that Mewtwo in the new Rainbow Rare card. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can pull it. Also, I have not pulled very many of the good cards in this set. Um, I just haven't opened as much as I probably should have of the set. Again, because of <laughs> Hidden Fates. But uh, let's see what happens here. We got a Magneton. That is really cool artwork. Um, let me make sure this is focused too. We got Babero, Dublade, Solandit, Riolu, Metatite, Shroomish, Slack off me. He looks relaxed. That's what I'm talking about. Alolan Grimer, which uh, was one of my favorite Pokemons in the Sun and Moon games when they first came out. And we've got a Celebi. So, oops, upside down. We did get a hit right from the start. A holographic Celebi. So I'm very happy about that. Let's get into the second Unified Minds pack. And see what we can get. One, two, three, and four. And we have a fairy type energy, which are no more in the TCG. Dragonair, Snorunt, Tynamo, Meditite, Noibat, Sawaddle. We've got that Hoot Hoot again, Reverse Hollow, who looks like he's just fearing the storm. And a Lucario taking on um, Garchomp. Is that Garchomp? I think so. Garchomp and Garatina, that tag team duo. So. I'll give you guys these two code cards real quick like pause the video if you want to try to claim them um let's get into the burning shadows i've actually held on to these for quite some time um i bought these probably back around december and i just i don't know kind of forgot about them i guess <laughs> haven't really wanted to open them looks like there's a card in here that's just beat up Man, good thing it's not the uh, the hollow or the rare, whatever it is. We have a electric, we have Simisage, Noctowl, Venipede, Horsey, Cutifly, Lediba, Alolan Grimer. We've got a reverse of Passimian, and oh, there we go. All right, we got a Dark Ride GX. Um, not necessarily the card we wanted to get from this set, but I don't think I've ever pulled Darkrai from Burning Shadows, to be completely honest. So that is a very cool addition. And the centering is, it looks like it's just a touch off. The back looks really good, actually. Um, that might not be a bad card to try to get graded. We'll start opening up the next pack. And you know what? We'll slip that code card in there real quick, like, and go on. So... One year I have been on this channel for an entire year. It's been a journey. It's been a cool and fun journey. Um, honestly, did not expect to even make it this far as I have. I'm, I'm about at 750 subscribers right now. Um, honestly, did not think I'd see 100 subscribers in Scolipede. But you know what? I, I've, I realized when I started, when I started the channel it was to create pokemon go content and my goal was to get sponsored by youtube initially um just so i could start earning some money for it and i could then travel more and do more um with pokemon go like if any of you guys watch like mystic seven or uh trainer tips you know i want to do some stuff like that um that was my original inspiration and i knew it was a long shot from the beginning um, but I was always interested in Pokemon cards too, so I was always, you know, going out to buy some. Oh, we get a full art of Marshadow. Look at that. It's a little off-center from, uh, on the left to the right, but, uh, the back doesn't look too bad. A little bit of whitening on it, but not terrible. But a, a full art Marshadow, that's a really good pull. And a, another one I have not yet pulled. So, there's the code cards for those. Um, but once I switched to the TCG, and part of the reason why I switched to trading cards instead of doing the Pokemon Go scene, it was 
it, it ate up a lot of my time having to go out and, and record and all that. And I just didn't have a lot of time with um, a newborn baby and, you know, military duties and obligations. And it was just, it, it didn't, it wasn't really quite right for my lifestyle. So I made the change because I was already getting some Pokemon cards and I was really into it and I wanted to collect and uh, I, I just really wanted to get back into it. And I kind of decided that maybe this is the right time to do it. So, oh, very cool Zygarde. Um, holographic Zygarde, actually. And this is the first time I've pulled this card. So that's very cool. Um, I just made the decision to switch over, you know, and, and to try it out. And the very first video that I did was... It was rough. It was uh, not a good video at all. My editing skills took a, a dump, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I wasn't used to editing a card opening video. My mic decided to die on me in that video, and it never came back. <laughs> I couldn't get the microphone to get fixed. I, I mean, there was just a lot that happened, and it was discouraging at first, but I kept with it, and I very much enjoyed it. Oh, we get the regular Marshadow GX as well. Look at that. We got two Marshadows. So those um, Burning Shadows sleeved, well, they were from the booster box. The Burning Shadows packs were actually really, really good. There's one. Um, let's do the Cosmic Eclipse. Anyway, what what initially happened is I wasn't getting very many subscribers either with my Pokemon Go. It was just, you know, not, not a lot of people wants to watch somebody who plays in the same town over and over constantly. And, uh, you, you know, there just there wasn't a lot of exciting things happening. I went out and I tried Shiny Hunt and I tried to create exciting things. And, uh, you know, some days were better than others, but it was just, it's hard playing in a small town with... Um, you know, like four pokey stops and two gyms, and uh, it just it wasn't working out the way I wanted it to work out. There's a code card for that burning shadows. Um, so I, I made the decision decision to switch, and at that point, once I started opening up Pokemon cards in lieu of doing the Pokemon Go videos, it made it it made it fun, like a lot more fun. And I met a lot of amazing people in the community since then um, for the cards. And, and don't get me wrong, I met a lot of amazing people when I was playing Pokemon Go too. Like you literally have to physically go out and meet with people to do raids and talk with them and all that. And I, I have some friends that uh, are, are very, very good friends, even to this day from the Pokemon Go community. Um, but it's, it's just been different in the Pokemon card community. It's been a lot a lot more active for me. It's just, I, don't, I think it's brought me out of my shell a lot more. Um, I don't know. It's just been, it's been more about the fun and enjoyment that I get from it versus something that like, I feel like I have to do, you know, because at the end of the day, when I was doing Pokemon Go, that's, that's what it kind of felt like because I had a goal in mind and I just, I had to push and push and push to get to that point. So, and it just left me tired and exhausted. And, and there was days where it was just like, I didn't want to go out and play because it felt more like a, a chore at that point. So, but since I've switched to Pokemon cards, I have not felt that way even a little bit. Um, sometimes editing sucks. I'm not going to lie, but, ah, dang it. Um, but you know, it's, it's come, it's part of when you make content like this, you have to, you know, edit if you want your videos to come out decently, but, uh, it's just been a lot more fun. Like even editing and trying to, to incorporate new things and do some more clever things. And, you know, it's just a lot more fun this way. Oh man, there's a white dot. That is unfortunate. That is a print error. Cause there's a white dot right up on here. That sucks. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, it's been a good switch, and now I haven't, since I switched over to the Pokemon cards, it's not been about trying to, you know, become an affiliate with YouTube 
it's not about you know hitting thousand subscribers and, and I mean those are all goals that I would like to eventually hit but it's not about that anymore it's about just enjoying ourselves and you know putting this kind of stuff out there for other people to enjoy as well oh my gosh I finally pulled it ladies and gentlemen pause the sob story for a minute look at this I have been searching for this card for a while and we finally pulled the Arceus Dialga Palkia GX alternate art. That is beautiful. It's unfortunately really off center. Like it's just thick up on the top and on the left. But we finally pulled it. And it has that stupid print dot error on the back. But I finally pulled the card. I'm happy about that. Oh man, that is that is a good pull. Alright. So um let's get into Let's do the lightning mystery box. I'm also trying to speed up a little bit because I know that uh, I don't want to take up everybody's time and I want to, you know, have like a 20, 30 minute video, even though it's probably going to come out to be a 20, 25 minute video. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been a good switch, switching to the TCG versus staying in um, The Pokemon Go world, which I still play and I still, like I said, have plans to do. Um, looks like we've got two fates collide, a roaring skies and a dragon's majesty, which I think these are really good sets, honestly, for that, that little box. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like my, my story on how I got to where I am today and, you know, kind of how the flow of my channel has changed and, uh, Oh, I thought that was a rare at first. I thought, oh, I did the trick wrong. Um, but it's all about the enjoyment and the amazement and, you know, just having fun. And honestly, once I made that choice and once I realized that, you know, like, this is something you, you should enjoy. Because it's it's more or less a hobby, you know. It's, I'm not getting paid for this. Um, it's probably going to be a long time before I get paid for it. And even when people hit a 1,000 and they, they get their 4,000 watch hours and they, you know, get sponsored by youtube we get the partnership a lot of times people don't start making anything any kind of decent amount of money for a while so it's not about the money it's not about you know getting popular famous Ooh, that's a nice articuno um it's just about enjoying it in, in the community and uh nc pack busters i know you guys know uh, who NC Packbuster is. I'm going to link his, his channel down below, specifically the video that I'm about to reference, but he did this really awesome, like, thank you everyone type video um, where he's trying to get a hundred different, not even just Pokemon content creators, but just Pokemon fans in general to, you know, open a pack of Pokemon cards and say thank you to the community and why it's so good. And he just compiled a bunch of people doing that. I par participated as well. And it, it just, that speaks volumes about why I do this and why most of us do this. And it's just amazing. It's amazing. This community has really just been awesome to me. And I know it's been awesome to a lot of other people too. So, all right, let's get into the Fates Collide. And let's see. I just want to kind of share my story on my trip to one year and uh, yeah, and just kind of share how I got here. And like I said, I will be doing some more Pokemon Go style videos or vlog style videos in the future as well. So stay tuned for that if you enjoy that type of video. And uh, I'm always making changes, you know, little changes here and there, or big changes if they, they need to happen. Because um, I just want to share, you know, the love basically with you guys, you know, like, ah, uh, bronze on. This is, this is a fun thing to do, and uh, it makes my day, honestly, when, when you guys comment or, you know, someone comes out and says, whoa, dude, that was awesome. Like, I had so much fun watching your video. Like, that's what it's about. That it, right there is what it's about. Um, I think it's three to the front. Maybe it's four. You know what? Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try three. I'm gonna try three, and see if that's it. We'll sneak a code card in there real quick, and uh, you know what? We're gonna sneak the other code card in too. <sighs> Drampa. Okay. Ah, uh, I feel like I may have done the card trick wrong though. 
Tartanator. We've got a Crokinaw uh, Bagon, Wishy Washy. Uh, Phoebus, Corsola, Jingmo O. We've got Hakamo O. We've got a holographic Charizard. So we will not be shut out from the Charizards today. We do pull a holographic Charizard. And that is it. For some reason, I thought there was another card behind it. That is awesome. Let me put them in the sleeve here. So at least we got one Charizard, right? That's, uh, that's important. Let's go ahead and get into our two unbroken bonds. See if <laughs> by some miracle we can pull the Charizard in that. And uh, then we'll move on to the two mystery boxes. And I'm going to try to go through those faster because this video is already <laughs> going to be super long. I don't think there's any amount of editing I could do to make it not long. But the Rush Ram and Charizard Tag Team Rainbow Rare is the card we're looking for. I love Rush Ram too. A lot of you guys know that already. But Rush Ram is one of my favorites. I love it. All right, here we go. Energy, Radicate. We've got Duskstone, Giovanni, Sandile, Darumaka, Goldeen, Rattata, Venonat. We've got Reverse of Charge Bug. Ooh, and Darmanitan. Non holographic. And I'll just give you guys this one real quick. There's that. Oh, wait. What? One more? Okay, there you go. One, two, three, four. Let's see what these are. Cleffa, Hepney, Dust Island, Aeron, Seal. We've got Bellsprout, Ghastly, Carvana, Reverse Seal, and oh, Kingler. So no and no on the two Unbroken Bonds packs. And that is okay. That is completely fine. Um, as much as I want to get those really good rare cards and all that again it's it's not about it's about just enjoying opening them and enjoying you know what you're doing and all that so the the hunt the chase that's what makes it fun um i would obviously love to pull those cards but i'm not distraught about it all right so we're just going to start pulling things out and seeing what we get because i don't know what's in here Celestial Storm. Oh no, I think I feel the card and it is bent. <sighs> wow, look at this. Snorlax GX promo, but it is the corner. Look at the corner. It's actually like ripped off. That is terrible. Oh man, it's a promo. I'm just going to put it in the pile. It's pretty much bulk at this point. Oh, we got an unbroken bond. Maybe that's the charge that we're looking for. Um, Lost Thunder. I think that's it. Oh no, there's one more. We got a Forbidden Light. We've got a Zorark coin. Set that up in the stack. Oh, there's a pin too. I almost just tossed that. We got a Genesect pin. And we've got a code card which somebody can have for Steel Sun. I think that's a deck maybe? So yeah, let's just uh, let's rip into these. Let's see what we can get. It's been a while since I opened up these holiday sets, but uh, they're a lot of fun. I like these mystery boxes, these mystery power boxes. I know going into it that I'm most likely not going to get anything, but I just, I love the thrill of going, what if, and you know, maybe. And the pack selections usually aren't terrible either. Like, I like Celestial Storm. I like Forbidden Light. You know, I'm okay with these packs. A lot of people aren't, a lot of people seem as a waste of money. Because it does, it comes out to be like pretty much $5 a pack because as you can see, the promo cards or whatever they give you included usually is damaged. The coin's not worth much, you know, 10, 20 cents, and the pin is about the same. So you're not really making out value on there. So it's, it comes out to about $5 a pack, but uh, I think they're fun. I think they're, they're really fun products. So I like going back for more. We got Skiddo. And we've got a Pyroar holographic. So go ahead and sleeve him up. Stick him right on up over here. Here are two code cards for those. We'll go into the Lost Thunder. 
And remember, we still have one more mystery box left after this for my anniversary special. And uh, maybe we can pull a vintage pack. I still don't know if I want to open it. I guess it depends on what kind of pack we get if we do get one. And, you know, if we even get one. I'm pretty sure I used up my luck already with these packs by getting the Neo Discovery and the Legend Maker already. Uh, Yamask and Scizor Hollow. That is a really cool hollow, too. At least we're getting, you know, some decent hits out of these. Like, holographics or not, you know, they're, they're really cool cards. All right. Ah, okay. We got a Litwick. We've got a Drillbert. We've got a Slackoth. We've got a Fungus. We've got a Haunage. We've got a... D did I just do that wrong? Oh, I didn't put, I didn't put my four cards to the front. I just put them right back in the back. <laughs> there's a slack off, and there's a camera up. There is the code card. I was trying to figure out what happens, and there are the other cards. I just messed up the card trick, and it's no big deal. There is another code card for the Lost Thunder. Let's get into the Unbroken Bonds. If I can, you know what? We'll just give it to you. There's a code card. You're gonna have to pause it real quick, like and see what we get here we go but very much love to pull something full art or better from this set it would be very very nice we've got a hitmon top and a crab hominable so we didn't even get close but that's okay final product is the other mystery box here this is the one that everybody's going crazy about right now um and i mean honestly rightfully so if you guys have not seen, I will link in this video somewhere, or have already linked it, um, my opening of three of these mystery power boxes because we pulled some vintage packs. You just heard me say it. We did pull a Neo Discovery, and we did pull an EX Legend Maker. So. Oh, man. What is this? Oh. Oh, we got a little... This must be our mystery item. Um, it's a Dark Rye. I th think, yeah, there's the stand for it. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it just needs to be super glued, I guess. I don't know. It's broken, whatever. Here is a code card for a Unified Minds pack. We have um, Crimson Evasion. We have a Sigilyph. I'll just set them up over here. We have Forbidden Light. Sword and Shield. Cosmic Eclipse. And... Guardians Rising with a... Oh, wow. Is that the... That looks like a, one of the old school Chansey coins. That's so cool. I don't think I have a coin like that yet. So, very awesome. These are the last of the packs we'll get. Um, we'll go in this order. And we'll call it a day after that. So, here we go. Can we end it off on a good note with these packs and the channel anniversary. Let's see. Staravia, Psychic Memory, uh, Aceligor, yeah, Aceligor, Bunnelby, Carablast, Spoink, Salandit, Mankey, Cacturn, and a Primeape, 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 non hollow. Let's get into Guardians Rising. Now let's see. One, two, three, and four. Here we go. Enhanced Hammer, Aqua Patch, Weeping Bell, Stuffle, Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Gliger. We got a Reverse Probo Pass, that is a rare. And a Talon Flame non holographic rare. So there are two more code cards for whoever can grab them. Oh, Zeus is barking. A Puppers. Probably sees a squirrel. We have this one squirrel. It's, uh, it's a black squirrel, but it's got like a regular brown tail, and it just, it, it terrorizes Zeus. It terrorizes my dog. Every time he goes outside, that squirrel comes running around and starts just chirping at him from up in the tree, and it drives him nuts. It's kind of funny to watch, to be honest. But uh, we've got a Water Energy Hoopa, the Sander Labs, a Go Goat, Dewpider, Fennekin, Pancham, Skiddo, Noibat, 
we have Fossil Excavation Map and uh, Non-Hollow Age of Slash. It's the one I wanted was a, a hollow in that one, but Sword and Shield, we have a Cosmic Eclipse after this, and that is it, everybody. After the Cosmic Eclipse, this video is done. So let's see what we can get. We've got an Energy. We've got Double Wool, uh, Deck Trio, Switch, Clobopus, Ghastly, Rookity, Sizzlepede, Snom, Skaroopy, Reverse, and a Rillaboom Non-Holographic. Pretty sure I have both those already for my uh, master set, so don't really need them. But Cosmic Eclipse, a chance to get a Charizard still. Um, I am trying to hunt this one down as hard as I can before these go up in price as well because they, again, they do have a Charizard and I believe they are officially out of print, I think. So um, I actually am having a hard time finding them at my stores anymore, be like 100% honest. Uh, I think people have the same idea. They're all trying to buy them up now and keep them sealed and all that, but I need to get that Charizard. We got a reverse Vaporeon, which I love. I love that Vaporeon and a Zatu non-holographic. There's an upside down code card. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This has been a very long episode. I knew it was going to be kind of longer, but I was hoping to trim it down a little bit but you know life happens and you know fun takes over and that's okay so we didn't get shut out though with the charizard hunt we did pull one holographic charizard and we pulled the adp alternate art cart finally so i'm very happy about that but uh i do appreciate you guys hanging out and spending time with me i hope you liked the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, again if you're new to the channel uh consider subscribing and becoming part of the family here so that is all I have, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you in the next video.